Hello everybody and welcome to episode 37 of my Diamond Dynasty series. Today we will be taking on the Wildcats and my opponent has Sunny Gray on the mount and the creative player of my opponent is Danny Lucido. We got Zach ranking on the mount today for the Oregon Ducks. My opponent is 201 and 168. We are 104 and 72. Both respectable records and he has played many games more than us as we get the first batter swinging on the curveball low and that gets ripped right down the left field line into the outfield as we get it in quickly with Bryce Harper to hold him to a lead or a one out single 3-2 count taken off for second but it gets called ball four anyways the pitch is low 0-2 count and Altuve takes the hit away and he will turn the 4-6-3 double play there and took away what would have been a sure hit and RBI there which gets us out of the inning bottom of the first out one away gets ripped right back up the middle by James Adams for a one out single bringing up Harmon Kilber to the plate we're taking off for second, throw is high, and we slide in there ahead of the throw. Runner on second now, two away. Wild pitch or pass ball, not quite sure, as we get into third with no throw. Runner on third with two away, and we tap that one just in front of the mound. Sunny Gray gathers that, fires it to first for the third out to the inning, as we strand Adams on third base in our own half of the first. Top the second now, 0-2 oh, count. Strikeout looking on the fastball high, 0-2 oh, count again, and another strikeout looking on the fastball up high. Bottom second now, already two away. Strike three on the fastball inside. Skip ahead to the top of the third. Two away as well. 1-0 count. Then gets ripped into left field for a two-out single by Kenny Lofton. First pitch that he sees. He's taken off for second and slides in there ahead of the throw. Joe Panic 0-2 count. Goes down swinging on the fastball up high for a third strike on the fastball up high by Zach Greinke anyway. Top of the fourth now, one away. Gets ripped right back up the middle by my opponent for a one-out single there. Cargo sends that one deep into left center field. We'll range back there and put that one away on the run with Harper. Spin, fire it into Adams, and Adams will spin and fire it to first as my opponent was already halfway to third as we complete the double play there to get us out of the inning. Terrible base running by my opponent there as we turn two. Bottom four now, 0-2 count. Gets driven deep into left field. This one's got a chance, and it clears the wall for a home run by James Adams, which gives us the one to nothing lead. Top of the fifth now, he'll put the one right back up the middle for a single there, as it didn't go that far. 0-2 count, already one away. That one gets called on strike three on the check swing, and then that one gets ripped into left right field, but put away for the easy out by Dawson for the third out to the inning. Bottom of the sixth now, one away. That one gets tapped right back up the middle by Altuve for a one out single. Bringing up James Adams, and on a 2-1 count, we'll be taking off for second and get thrown out there. Great throw by my opponent's catcher as we jump ahead to the top of the 7th. 1-2 count, that one gets ripped over the wall in right field. That hanging curve got punished that Greg, Zach Greinke left up there in his tie ball game all of a sudden, 1-1. One one, as that one gets put right down the line into left field as well. As we get it in quickly yet again to hold him to a 1-out single. 1-1 one, one count, taken off for second, and he gets in there ahead of the throw as he brought in a speedster with 99 speed and all that. And that one gets hit into right field. We'll get over there with Dawson and get a running start on it. Spin, fire it to third, and this one will be a close play, but the throw is offline as he's now got a runner on third with two away. But we strike him out on the fastball up high. Four strikeouts on high fastballs tonight by Zach Granke. Bottom of the seventh, 3 3-2 count. That one gets ripped deep into left field. This one's got a chance to go, and it goes off the wall. And it will get fielded as we round second. And we got a leadoff double with I with Carmen Kilbrew. Tap that one to first. Down gets spinned and fired. As now there is a runner on third with only one away. He'll bring in Greg Holland to counter the matchup. As it's a righty on righty in there. Strike three called on the slider outside. One, two count. And we will tap that one right to second. Gathered, fired it to first for a third out to the end as we strand our runner on second here as we head to the top of the eighth. We'll bring in Araldus Chapman. And Chapman, the first batter he faces, will put the one through the hole on the right side of the infield past the diving Bagwell. For now he's got a runner on first. 0-2 oh, count. Goes down swinging on the fastball up high. One away now. And now it pitches called strike, but he takes off for second and gets in there as a throw. Now he's got a runner in scoring position, taking off for third. And the good throw, but it's just a bit late on the tag. 1-2 count, and we strike him out on the slider up high this time. 3-1 count, ball forward to his creative player. Didn't really want to have anything to do with him. As we get the next batter to hit the one right to short, gather it, fire it to first for the third out to the inning. As we strand his own runners on first and third to head to the bottom of the eighth. 
he'll bring in Houston Street here. First pitch that we see, take that one through the right, uh, right down the line on the left side of the infield. We get in there with a leadoff single to start the inning. We'll bring in Mark Teixeira, already one away now, and Teixeira puts that one right back up the middle. We've got runners on first and second now with only one away. Now is our chance to hop on it, and we hit that one right to second. He takes the sure out at first as we got runners on first and se er, second and third now. He'll intentionally walk Adams, doesn't want to have anything to do with him, bringing up. Uh, Kilbrew, and on the first pitch, Kilbrew sees, rips that one into the hole, but it gets stabbed at and robbed by the third baseman. Took away at least one run, which would have given us the lead, as we'll bring in Greg Holland here. He's seeing as it's a 1-1 game in the top of the ninth. First batter, he sees, strikes him out on the fastball up high. Top of the tenth now, we'll jump ahead, 2-2 two -two count. There's strike three on the splitter low on Crawford. 2-2 two -two count, another strikeout, this time on the fastball up high. Bottom of the tenth now. He'll bring in Jonathan Pabalbon, 0-2 count. We take strike three swing in there. Top of the 11th, we'll bring in Andrew Miller to face this uh, guy's lineup as we get strike three called on the slider low. Barrett to first to complete the strikeout. as a second out to the inning, but we jump ahead to the bottom of the 11th. 3-2 count, take the two seam up high. He'll bring in Kevin Sir just here. 0-1 count, we're taking off for second, and this time the throw's a bit late as we got a runner in scoring position now. 2-2 count. Go down swinging on the changeup low. He'll throw to first to complete the strikeout, but we advance to third there on the throw. So now we've got a runner on third, 2-2 count, and we go down swinging again on the changeup. He got back-to-back -back strikeouts on that changeup low. Top of the 12th now, 3-1 count. Alex Gordon walks, 3-2 count, and he takes us low pitch deep into left field and over the wall, which is a heartbreak as it gives him a 3-1 lead. Bottom of the 12th now. I don't know who he brought in there. I couldn't figure it out. As first batter Bagwell skies that one into left, but it's caught on the run for out number one. Things are looking bleak now. Next pitch gets grounded right to second, third to first for the second out to the inning. And now 1-1 one, one count gets ripped and lined out to second baseman as we lose this game in a heartbreaker. Drop back to 1678 there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Peace.